Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a craft with me video today. This is using Paper Rose Studios Pink Halloween Card Kit um, and this is a Country Craft Creations Design Team project and we are celebrating World Card Making Day, October 5th, 2024. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. So if you have not seen before on my channel, um, we have made one of these together. I think I did a couple of them with you, but we did the Holly, nope, the Jolly Holidays collection, Christmas collection, which was a lot of fun. And I just, I had to have this pink Halloween. It's so stinking cute. Just so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> but you get, you don't get the card base. So, um, I did cut so far I cut what is that six or eight I think six yeah six card bases a two size um, so that is four and a quarter by five and a half and then you get 18 double-sided papers three of each design because there's a design on each side and then it says one sentiment sheet I don't know what that means because when I say sentiment, I think of these, so it could be wrong. But this is what you get. So just look at the picture. You get plenty of stuff to make extra cards. And then also, in the kit is an inspo sheet, which is awesome. Which to me means just copy it exactly. <laughs> and then you'll be inspired to create your own cards after that. I think they're so stinking cute. I pretty much just kind of copy, but we'll, do, we'll go through that. I lay them out as is. On here I'll tell you the measurements I cut of course I had to add another mat onto my card base because why not why not keep adding and with these one these are just so nice and relaxing an easy in-between project you could turn these into banners into tags um, you could put them on the outside of like a Halloween like bag that you have filled with treats um, they're just it's there's just so much you could do with it. So don't, you know, don't be discouraged saying I can make my own card. Yeah, we all can make. Well, that's not true because I, I do make, I have made some, but they're not as cute as like just some of these pre-made ones. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go through my process, which I've done before, but just in case you're new to my channel, um, here is the papers. So just so you could see how adorable these papers are. Like I just, I literally can't. So I have six cards prepped. I still have, cause I only use six sheets. So I still have 12 sheets left. Now I can keep going and make more cards or I think I might use some of these to make a folio because why not, right? So I don't know, we'll see. We will see, but tonight we're gonna make six cards together. I'm just gonna lay them out and I always separate. So I separate my sentiments and then the little ephemera pieces as well as, you know, the little circles, the kind of focal point. So I will just kind of lay these out and just show you guys and then we will come back, put them together. Now I did add black, a black mat all the way through and I'll give you the measurements that I did for everything. I just think they're stinking cute. Now you also, I keep saying now, now, um, you can also, you know, if you want to mat like I did, you can add, oh my gosh, this is just such pretty. You can add in glitter cardstock, um, black, pink, the peachy color would be really fun. The glossy black that Country Craft ha uh, Creations has from Tonic Studios is awesome and i might add that to if i make the folio but stay tuned because i do have another project lined up i just have so many ideas in my head i'm going crazy okay so these are the six this is my process so i i lay them all out and i just went in my black scrap bin and to clean out the black scraps i just cut it down so the black piece is cut down to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Then whatever solid color, which is just the back, uh, they make it so easy. 
they do all the work for us. It's just the back of the, the like focal point. So that one is four by five and a quarter. And then this one, I cut down two because I wanted still a good chunk of the pink um, as a border or whatever solid color. Um, I cut this one, so our third one down to three and three quarters by five. So, and if you have any that has like a built-in border, I would, you know, take a look at the picture, but some of them you have to kind of um, cut to have it even. So like on this one, I wanted somewhat of an equal distance of the white showing. But if I cut it, let's see if I have that one. If I had cut it at the three and three quarters, I would have had a big section over here of the white and a little section here. And that still can work too. I just wanted mine in the middle. So I just kind of, before I cut, I took a look at like, I think it was this one. No, where is it? This one. Was it this one? I think it was where I wanted this to be, I wanted to cut off a little bit of the bottom, but I forgot to do that and I cut the top. So my little border is higher than I originally wanted it. But again, that's okay. And we have plenty of papers to work with. So if you wanna do just cards, this is awesome. And this collection, um, I think there is, there's still some 12 by 12 singles left at Country Craft Creations, but you better hurry. Um, the kits, the six by six, all the other things sold out. Um, and I can't remember, don't quote me. I think she might have more coming like one last shipment, but I am not 100% positive. So we're just going to go ahead and start gluing this stuff down and I am going to glue it instead of my runner. We'll just, you know, just get it going. Okay. So, it's, I got to work with the little kitty cat because it's just so cute. So, lay all your pieces. You can ink these up. You know, if you want to ink it with black, you can do that. I'm going to keep it just clean because I just feel like it looks just so, you know, just nice and adorable versus grungy and spooky. So these are all side folding. You can do top folding if you want to for your card base, but I just chose to keep it all the same. And if I do a folio, I will have a tutorial on my YouTube channel, of course, for it. Let's see, I think I need to. Okay, and we have this, but it's just the back of that one. And I think on the inspo sheet, if you don't want to do the black and want to do it just like, you're still going to keep the same measurements for these because they had a little bit of extra white showing. You could do a black card base if you want to. You could do pink, you could do whatever. Okay, these are just so cute. Oh, oh that's what I was gonna grab was my foam tape. Because I am going to pop some of these up. You don't have to do that. Oh my gosh, but I also do think like making a set like just flat and clean and then a set where you have a lot of stuff popped up, you have embellishments, you have little like Halloween flowers on there. It's gonna be so cute. Do I want to? I am gonna take the little nubby nubs off from pulling them out of the die cut sheet should we pop that up I think so let me get hmm, 
to get my, I'm trying to think what foam I want to use. my stash. Okay. So we'll just add some on here or do we want that flat? And oh, let me show you guys like what I'm actually working off of. That would help. So this is the sheet um, or the example that we are using trying to decide if I want it flat and then these popped up yeah maybe that's what I'll do if I can hold it in my hand oh kitty cat is so cute get the line straight because the cat is actually the crooked part Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get these little nubbies off. And I like that Paper Rose doesn't have a ton of white around its die cuts. Let's go ahead and take this one off. You could always come in and mat these on black if you wanted to do that. Oh my goodness, this is just so stinking cute. Oh. So cute. You can add enamel dots or some, you know, sparkle and shine. Spider webs behind the elements. It's just so, I just, I can't. I just can't. Oh. So cute. Now we'll put that down there. I said these just make great gifts and I'm just kind of putting the stuff there anyway I guess <laughs> goodness gracious what is everyone working on this weekend hopefully some cards who actually still sends out cards that's what I want to know I make all these cards and nobody ever gets any. <laughs> Look how cute. Now I might come back in at the end and mat this with like a black or a pink and use some of the cutoffs. Um, Cause you know, you still could do that. And I just, I, mean, I can't. Look how cute you are. Oh, you can come back in, like I said, and add some little jimmies, meaning enamel dots. And I have all different kinds of black that I'm using because, again, I just was taking it from my scrap bin. I wanted to use some up. Okay. Who got this collection? Who got the card kit? If you didn't, are you going to get the card kit? Because look, so cute. And like I said, you can use some of the six by eight sheets. And I'm not the best at getting these things even FYI. Um, to make card folios, little mini albums. Oh, just look at that. Can you guys see the cuteness? Oh. Just that little <laughs> puggy pug face poking through. So cute. Oh, yeah. Don't put the wrong paper down. Oh my gosh, I did just do that. 
Well, we're just rolling with it now. Let's see how we want to do that because I don't want to waste this paper because it would look, I mean, you can, let me just show you. You can, but it just blends right in. So you might as well not. Ugh, so I wasn't paying attention. Put the glue on the wrong side. But luckily we have enough to make boo-boos. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I just love having cards for days and not give them out. I need to just donate them. I cannot believe I did that. I mean, I can believe I did that, but this is what happens on this channel. We just roll with it. You guys were probably like, Tiffany, what are you doing? Stop putting glue there. It's okay, we will survive. Just trying to see my placement now, where I want it. I don't know if I want that spider on there. And I don't know if I need the books on there. Hmm. Let's see. This background is so stinking cute. Okay, let's just see what other. Come on, let me try something. Nope, don't like that. These are the ones I have left. She is cute. Hmm. Let me just see. I might like her a little better. Yeah, we're going to go with it. We are going with it. Let me just make sure sentiment-wise... <laughs> you get so many. I hope I don't want that. I want a darker one. This is kind of big and chunky, so I guess we want to stick with this little. Yeah. I don't know if we need the spider. Do do do. See, now I'm just. We're just gonna go with this. Okay. Take off the little nubbies. That is the joy of crafting and talking at the same time. We shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> but I do love this background paper. Oh, it's so pretty. I just need more time to make stuff. And I have the time. I just can't make everything I want to make. She's cute. So we're just going to do that. I do like that. I wish there was something kind of pink. This will still work. Go with it, just go with it. Boop. I promise I am gonna try a live soon. It won't be probably for another couple weeks because next week I'll be in Utah again for Country Craft Creations Monster Mash Retreat. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, she's still cute. We had a little boo-boo, but that's okay. So I'm gonna set that aside. And, and this was what we were going to do, which still would be cute because I could do something similar on another card. Let's make this one here. And these card kits, like I said, they just, you know, you can stamp a sentiment on the inside if you want to. 
but it does look like you put in a lot of work <laughs> when we did not. Give them a little. I just, in between projects, I have, this week I have been doing just tutorial after tutorial for retreats, for subscription boxes, etc. But also I've been wanting to play with all the fun papers that are out. So I have just, my husband probably thinks I'm insane. All I do is craft. I have been watching like shows and movies in between or during I should say. And I did clean my main room one day. That took all night. When I say my main room because now I've like been crafting in like three different rooms. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, focus Tiffany, focus. So cute. A little owl is so adorable. So I do have, I have the 6x6 six six and the 12x12 12 12 that I bought Country Craft Creations. And I definitely want to make something, but I have so many Halloween papers I want to play with and all the Christmas. That's why half the time I have to skip fall. Because even though I do Christmas all year, a lot of the brands don't come out with stuff until... It's Halloween time or Christmas time. And most of August, I don't even know what happened to August. September just disappeared. I, I, did, I didn't even know it was October. And yeah, that's, yep, there you go. The time just flies when you're having fun. So making sure we got all the little nubbies off. Just kind of finishes your project. Okay, so we have this little patootie. So here is, so you have stuff on both sides. So this is the one we're making right here. And we're gonna just keep with the same formula. I don't have it totally centered. It's up just a little bit. Let's pop these babies up. Okay. And I can't wait because my next project which you guys will probably see before this video comes out but the next thing I'm going to work on is um, just like some room decor for Halloween and happy haunting goes down there it's covering up that cute little bat I don't know we're going to go up here just because you guys know I'm such a rebel. There's this cute little bat. Or we have some little, these suckers are so cute. I want one just because they're cute. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Negative. Nope. <laughs> but we have that one now done. Oh my goodness. They're just so cute. I just, I can't. So cute. I know there's other words you could say besides cute, but it's cute. Tiffany, did you pay attention? 
Let me just make sure I want the pink. Yes, I love this pink color. It's a fun pink. That's what color my nails were technically supposed to be. So I showed my nail tech a picture and it was like a orangey pink like this. And I said, oh, I don't want it like that. I want it to be a pretty pink. And she's like, okay. And then I came out with basically the color. But it's okay, I didn't complain, I just kept going. Sometimes, you know, it's just misunderstandings and it's just nails and I'm gonna change it in a couple weeks anyways. Okay, I'm gonna put this little baby down. Do you guys like like the foam tape just stuck to my fingers as I'm crafting? So I know a lot of people use their tape guns, so you can use that too. I do like, I like using glue on my cards because I don't like the tape gun, like the adhesive, it can come um, undone later, like especially in certain climates. So I don't know. But I also don't like glue on the actual like card base because it warps it. But this is a um, like a hundred pound cardstock, so there's no warping this one. It's gonna come and even that up a little bit because there's a little indentation. That ghosty is so adorable. Is anybody making cards today? Doing anything fun? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. There goes my husband. Oh, okay. And Spow. I have this here. And I do not like candy corn, but those are adorable. Candy corn with the pink and black. Now that I like. Okay, I don't remember where this was. Okay, let's get our little foam tape. Can you guys hear my husband laughing at something that I'm sure is not funny? It never is funny. Just saying. Did I stick this down? Nope. So let's get this down. Such a cute little ghosty. So this was the one where I wanted the border a little bit lower but I didn't cut off the bottom. Just think how cute these would be with like some Halloween flowers, which really is just black, orange, pink, whatever flower you want. Because I even use poinsettias for Halloween. Just because they're pointy. <laughs> this is just cute with the little mason jar. Done with that one. So of course, you know, I prepped before coming on. But it's still, you can get... Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know you guys can hear him right now. And he's going to call me. He always wants me to come see his weird stuff. He's out there like in tears laughing so hard. You guys have to just like stop right now and comment and tell me if you can hear him. Because I know you can. He's so loud. That is my man. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, what I was trying to say, I don't even remember, actually, I don't remember. It's gone. It doesn't last long in my brain. He's so crazy. And he's probably like watching some political stuff. Can't wait for that to be over. Oof. You guys know I'll just stay in my my craft room bubble as long as I can. And I feel for those that aren't able to do that. But I like my bubble. It's 
paper so cute. We're gonna open the door as I'm filming. That would be my niece who just walked in. She is over here, supposed to be up there doing her homework, and she is not. I was so excited to not have kids in school anymore because I hated getting on on that homework. I don't know what it is. Like both me and my husband, or my husband and myself, my husband and I, one of those. Um, I for sure. I just, I didn't, well, okay, let's be real. School was different for us. We didn't have as much homework as these kids do nowadays. But still, if I had it, I did it. I didn't want, I wanted good grades. I wanted it done. But now, oh, you have to fight with them, I swear. They're just getting all these little nubbies off. Although the nubbies kind of look cute on the little mummy. Makes it look like, you know, the cloth is like frayed. I can't wait to go to the retreat. My husband says it's like my second home now is Utah. Because we just got back. From the simple stories retreat oh this one has a little lollipop oh so oh i'm just doing these like the picture but i will come back on with a different video of how you can take it either the video will be elevating the cards or um doing a folio with the extra pattern paper. Paper Rose has such amazing papers. I'm just going to keep coming in. Hmm? You're just going to keep coming in while I'm filming? I didn't. I just I'm came still? Into your warmth. You just came in. No, I didn't. Okay, well then that was your uncle. I'm filming right now. Oh, okay. Still filming. Okay, I was going to ask you questions. Mm hmm. Did you finish your homework? No. Okay. Can we go to Barnes and Nobles tomorrow? Because there's a book and I literally, it's the second book. Mm hmm. Finish your homework. Okay. Love you. Bye. Teenagers. Oh, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> it just came back to me. Sorry about that, you guys. But you know, this is just life. We all have it. Oh my goodness. Why did I why did I pop that up again? Okay, well, we got a lot of dimension happening here. I still probably would have liked that up there. Right? Can I get that up without messing it up? Ooh, you guys tell me. The card makers out there, would you put this up here or keep it down there? I don't know. Just I don't follow rules. I just play and do what I like. Okay, squirrel. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have issues. Um, so what I was saying was I was so thankful to not have kids in school because of the homework situation, but it really is to not have teenagers. Because she is, woo. she comes over every week. Today, I take her on Thursdays for her horseback riding lessons. And then I pick her up on Fridays from school, for the most part. And yeah, just teenagers, that's all I'm going to say. Teenagers. Okay, which one are we doing now? Okay, we're doing this one. I didn't really like the little boy, so I changed it to this cute pail. Doesn't mean I won't use the little boy. Making sure I got the right side. Right. 
but is that maybe that's like what grandparents feel like your kids are out but then the grandkids come in well some of you guys have to take care of your grandkids and you are amazing for doing that because i want no part <laughs> okay i'm not saying i don't want grandkids i'm just saying i craft i have stuff everywhere i will still you know when the time comes i'm sure i will watch the you know the grands but it's not going to be all the time i like my crafting time i really love the house to just joseph and myself i would prefer just myself <laughs> meaning i wish he would have an office job somewhere but he works from home and has for a really long time but we're really good at staying out of each other's way i have my space he has his we have it pretty good can't complain nubby nubbies what else is on this one was this it i think this was it I just think this pail is so cute. Makes me want to decorate for Halloween, but I don't really want to. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I have really cute stuff too. I probably should and put up one of my little Halloween banners. Get a big one. Let's see, what else do we have? I have like the die cut pack too, which let me show you guys. This sucker has so much in here to die cut from. So I can come back and add more things to these if I want to. So this one says eat, eat, drink, and be scary. Doop. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I do feel like it needs a little something. Can it have a little bat? Can the bat eat? Or do we want the little pumpkin? I mean the pumpkin, the spider. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, the bat's cute. I gotta do the bat. Let me just cut this up a little bit. I'm really determined just to get the foam tape off my finger, so I needed something to put on there. <laughs> Okay, not that, so cute. Okay, so that is a quick little craft with me session. Let me show you guys, let me clean up all my little nubbies that are everywhere. So we still have, this is, this is really cute, so I am gonna be using these. We still have these here to play with. We have all of these. Let me put these back in there. And like I said, we have tons of paper left. And just gonna put these back in there. Um, but look how cute. And I think they would be adorable with like glitter matting as well you don't even have to use like the background that comes up with the card if you want to extend again and make a whole bunch of cards you could just get some from your stash a little peach color pink the gray whatever to complement it and it would be so cute but you can make so many cards with all of these and you have all these sentiments if you get like i said a cut apart let me show you this thing's rolling over. How thick this is. Thick, thick. 18 single sided <laughs> cut apart. This is a lot of fussy cutting, let me tell you. But just so cute. So you could have these as the focal point. And like I said, you could get. Oh, I was going to show you guys. I didn't do it. I was going to put this behind, like one of them. But you could do a doily 
and put it on like so would be really cute. And if you had a spider web that looks like the shape of a doily, even better. I love using spider webs for doilies. But I just think that's so cute. So I am probably going to add some little enamel dots. But like I said, I will come back on with uh, another video. Stay tuned for that. I don't know if it will be before I leave for Utah. Hopefully it will. Or it might be during Utah. But I will either make more cards, elevated cards, or I'll make a folio. So stay tuned. But there you guys go. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Like I said, let me know. Did you get this card kit? Did you get the collection? Oh, this is just so fun. I just, I can't. I'm trying to think which one's my favorite. This, this little ghosty is adorable. But I, I think I gotta go with this. I can't. These two are my favorite. Right here. Absolute favorite. And I just, I love my little black kitty cats that I don't have anymore. Oh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hop over to, you have to join if you aren't a member, on Facebook, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. I try to tell you guys, you want to be a part of this group because she does random drawings, contests, fun stuff. And today, for if you are watching this on October 5th, 2024, that is World Card Making Day. She is doing a contest, not a contest. She's doing a giveaway um, as well as, I think if I read correct, correctly, there's going to be a free down um, download of a card you can make, something like that. They have some, some action happening. So definitely hop on to see what that is. But you guys don't want to miss out. And always on there for my design team projects, I do sneak peeks there first. Um, I will sometimes put them on Instagram as well, but always Country Craft Creations or Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations first. And then you see product there first. Um, when something comes back in stock, we tell the scrapbooker group first before we put it out there. So it's just, it's a great community. Lots of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see what you guys think and have fun making cards this weekend. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.